Welcome to the Church of Life Scientist, where we provide an atmosphere for you to hold up your desires and prayers in a creative atmosphere. Free of the so-called enemy, the powerless enemy, your doubts and fears. And that is enough about doubts and fears. For we're to keep you tuned in on your purpose in life, your good, your creative good, the flow of God through you. We're to keep you focused on that. Yes, the Church of Life Scientist, here to make good visible. Starting with you, we want you to talk about the good. And this simplistic doctrine of great value when put to use. And our continual message to you, striving to get you looking at yourself aright, reassuring you of your perfection, For well, this is what I have worked for and those around me to establish an entity that those throughout the regions can call upon as a mental idea represented in a church that represents good and their individual good, knowing that we support them only thinking of good, God creating only one way. We telling you that it's all right to think about the good, to only think about the good, because there's only one way to think. But we're saying it's all right, because God creates only one way. God is only good. Therefore, in God, thinking good brings forth God. You're relating, communing with God, contemplating God, meditating on God. It's all the same. I don't care what doctrine you read. which metaphors they use, what their jargon is. 
It all comes down to what we're saying here in the simplest of form. Right here at the Church of Life, scientists, that there's one God, all good, creating one way, all good. And you were created by that God, all good. And you are doing a light work of creating in the image and likeness of God. You are doing a light work of good unless you see yourself doing other things. Then you're going to see yourself doing other things. You will see yourself doing other things. It will come to pass that you will see yourself doing other things. But if you switch your belief, if you can start to think that there's one God creating one way you will demonstrate in another direction. Things will become new. So it's your choice. It is your choice. But we're here to remind you because we can forget, even all of us, that we have that choice every hour of the day. And so what if you understood last week? This is a new week, baby, and you have got to stay with God. No complacency. For when we see all good, we tend to relax. And then we wonder why things appear. That's to keep you focused on good. Because if everything was going smoothly, but you weren't practicing your metaphysics, you would lose your metaphysics. You wouldn't even think about God anymore. You wouldn't give God credit. You would take all the credit. I've been asked Do we have to watch ourselves every hour? Do we have to pay attention to our thinking every hour using the mental diet? Do we really have to stay in touch so consistently? Do we have to watch ourselves every hour? The answer is no, of course not. You don't have to take a shower for the rest of your life either. Of course you have to remember God. Of course you have to encourage other people. 
But don't you really want to do this anyway? You just need a little courage. Well, we're here, the Church of Life Scientists, to support you in that endeavor. If you want to make a difference in someone's life, If you want to be involved in green, flowing, productive channels, we have the answer for you. Laid out magnificently. Number one, you're to use the mental diet. And every time you have a thought opposing the supremacy of God, Every time you have a thought that says God is against you or that there's another power, human or supernatural, that's blocking your path. Every time that you have a limited thought about yourself, or every time that you remember something negative that someone said to you about you, you're to take that thought out. You're to replace it with the thought of your calling, of what you want to do. The desire that's welling up in your heart, I want you to fantasize about it. I want you to use it. I want you to use the mental diet to think only what you want. And I give you permission to rule out all of the thinking based on the principle that God is all. One creator, creating good, created you good, sending you good. All evil, all error is nothing. It will go away if you can get it out of your head. I'm telling you, and you don't have to work to get it out of your head. Think about good. Think about God. Just what this program's about. That's why we come on all the time thinking about good, talking about good, talking about God, not emphasizing how to get out of the bad or that there is bad, but that it's all good because everything is based on Genesis 1, God, one creator, creating one way, there's nothing else. You were created good. You are good. You are lovely, created in the image and likeness of God. There is nothing else. We will not talk about an opposing power. No. We only talk about error to get in touch with you so that we can show you how to get out of error. But we want you to think about good. We want you to think from the positive angle. God, one God, creating one way. This is the New Thought Movement. And I am a leader in the New Thought Movement. There is one God, one God, creating one way. This is written. This is in Genesis 1. 
We here at the Church of Life Scientists are demonstrating that. Come along if you want, if you have the guts. This is still a spiritual world. I don't care what you're seeing round about you. How far medicine has advanced, wonderful. How many computers there are. This is still a spiritual world available to you. And we're here talking about it in our simple church. Simple in doctrine, because God is simple. It's a simple message. One God creating one way. We give you the mental diet to help change your mind into new patterns, thinking about the supremacy of God, that there's only one God. There's only one way to think, and all of you continuing to think other ways, you will reap from what you sow. Not because you're thinking bad, but because you believe in the power of bad thoughts. You believe that there is an opposing power to God. There is none, no opposing power to God. We here at the Church of Life are preaching this. God omnipotent, and all of you out there, and all of those little metaphysical churches having your parties, this is the thick of it. This is why I came. And you can continue in your parties with those that want to get down to work. The fields are already white for the harvest. Those that want that harvest, come along. Carry off in your mind what we're teaching, the simplicity, and use it and talk about it. We can have spirituality right here at the end of the 20th century. Yes, right beside the medical advancements, right beside the computers and the wonderful minds of those people that are making those advances. That's where all the geniuses of our day are, in the medical field, in the technology field. That's where the Mozarts are. This is still, though, a metaphysical world. The world of physics is adopting metaphysics. The medical world is incorporating, to a great extent, metaphysical teachings. Einstein said the success of the 20th century depends upon man's ability to cross the line from physics to metaphysics. Now you name me a better authority than that. I know what I'm talking about. What a glorious mind century this has been. I have a lecture entitled This Mind Century. The century that you're a part of and all the advancements of mind and mind over matter. So don't try to fool me, anyone, that you don't hear this. But it's a church. Yes, it's called a church. But 
all are welcome that want to advance and use the things that even the world is using. Even those authorities know it 50, 80 years ago. But they don't say the word church. But that's all right. This is the church of life, scientist. I am Reverend Bruce Howard. Come. To advance new thoughts. Come to talk about those truths which have been round since the foundation of the world. Even those same that the AMA is embracing. Even those same truths that have crept up in our century. Well, you better get ready for the new century. I am bright and shiny, looking forward to talking to you about the same things I've been talking to you about, and the same things that physics are now recognizing and incorporating. Oh, one big glorious subject. One big glorious world. But I'd like to make a highlight on spirituality, because I like spirituality. I like church. I like the idea of people getting together about the right things. Nothing sticky, nothing material. Non-exclusivistic. Just the one truth that everyone experiences or is incorporating in some way. What a glorious century we've nearly completed. This mind century. Capping it off right here the church of life, scientist. With a scientific method for you to begin demonstrating good and advancements like
the field of physics. Open your eyes. I'm here to draw it all together for you. Where you don't have to be afraid of anything. Where you can look at the evidence. Where you can see that we are in a world that's not a world material at all. We are in